so where we left off in this was that um, I think we wanted to make more shapes. So why don't we? Why don't you? Is there any shapes that you want to do in particular? Um, let's maybe we could try like a hexagon. Yeah, we can do that. So we have a square, circle, and pentagon right now, so you can definitely do that if you want. Okay, uh, so. Awesome. Hexagon. And then now we're going to have to do. Hexagon is six sides, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Double check. I'll draw a visual. Okay, so. Two, three, four, five. Six. That's not the prettiest hexagon, but <laughs> but it gives me a visual. It's a visual. It's a visual. So you're welcome. Okay. But. So. <laughs> well, yeah, so what do you think goes in the range? Um, six, right? Because yeah, because there's six mm -hmm. sides. Yeah, exactly. It's the number of sides of the shape, at least for like Oops. what we're doing right now for drawing shapes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Forward. <clears throat> T dot forward. Hold on. Okay, so just. <clears throat> Hmm. Let me see. Thinking about right now. I'm trying to see which one, like if t dot forward, what should t dot forward be? You know, I'm gonna try. 10. Maybe I try ten right now. Okay. And then t dot right. <clears throat> Let's see t dot right. So this one was interesting because we had a, um, an equation that we've used in the past to help us figure out like the number of angles. Um, I don't know if you what remember. Was what was the equation again? I okay. Remember. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, we basically did, I'm going to write it as a comment above here. Actually, I'll do okay. a multi-line comment. I'll do this. Okay. Basically, what we did is, um, we know that shape or a circle has 360 degrees, like yeah. in total. Um, and so what we would do, for example, a square, in the range function, we put four because that's the number of sides we have. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Let me write this like this, actually. If we do 360 divided by the number of sides we have, we get the angle for the turns. So whether oh. that's right or left. Oh! Yeah. Yep. Now you remember? Yep. 60. And you remember how, like, if when we increase the number of sides, the shape went from, like, triangle to square to pentagon to hexagon to so look more and more? One, oh, sorry, but for this one, would it be 360 divided by 6 because it's for an inch 6? Yep, exactly. And then that, what do you think that's gonna give us? Actually, you know, I think you could, whatever, yeah. Um, I think you could even do ma the math on, um, like for example, if you, if you were, if you didn't know what the answer was or you were just like, you didn't, basically if you wanted to, I think you could do this. You could even do it, or not 60, sorry. So, wait, can we run this and see if we get it? Oh. Okay. Oh no, because I haven't finished this on key function. Okay, right. Okay. So, so yeah, that's like another interesting thing you could do. Oh, you sorry, could actually sorry. do them. You're fine, you're fine. You could do the math directly in there, but you don't need to do that. You can change it to 60. Um, but we, we can maybe try to keep the math in there and then let's okay. just see if it works. Yeah, good idea. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so. Oh, wait, let me delete my visual. <laughs> okay, so if you press the right key, it should be drawing a hexagon based on like what I see on your on key function. 
But when I click the canvas, it doesn't. It's not doing anything, right? But what if you click up or down? It draws the other shapes. So that sounds like there's a problem with specifically the functions for the hexagon because all the other ones are working. So yeah. um, why, don't we, why don't we look at the stuff we did? Did we draw the hexagon correctly? Like the function for it, you think? Maybe, I, I'm not, let me check, let me let's double check. You probably did. We did though, because if you're, if the method is correct, 360 divided by the range, six equals 60, which should be the right. Awesome. So maybe, so, so maybe should we try getting rid of the 360 divided by you six? You could. Still not drawing it, right? Okay, so where else? Oh, okay, I, I, I see, I see. Oh, I see where I messed up. It's okay. And sometimes that's gonna happen. I'm, I'm glad this happened now because sometimes there's errors that they won't give you a console error so you don't know that it exists, but it's there. And those are dangerous and we don't like those because they're mean. They like to hide. <laughs> but they exist and we have to deal with it. So what you do instead is kind of like take work backwards. Think like everything was fine until I did, did, did this hexagon stuff. So let me look at everything where hexagon oh, is. Let me look at the function, how we drew it, the on key, like you, you target those areas that were new, you know? Um, so that's just like another kind of decoding or debugging strategy. Why don't we try again? There we go. Wait, 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 is that? Oh, okay. Oh, it's just because like the, um... oh, cause, yeah, because you you press other keys. Yeah. <laughs> and then it Beautiful. becomes like a block. 